Hi, this is Erin from MCP Actions. Today I'm going to show you how to create a before and after template using our Display It for Web templates. I've got a photo that I have edited and I would like to make a before and after template for posting on the internet. This is the after edit version. What I'm going to do is create a collection and I'm going to call it before and after. And this photo is now in the before and after collection. I'm going to go to my develop module, look at my history panel and go all the way back to my import state. The import state is the straight out of camera version of the photo. Now, if I wanted to crop it the same way, I could. I could go back to this version and base my before and after on that. And I think for consistency's sake, I will do that. So this is essentially the photo after cropping and just a few minor edits. I'm going to use that as my before for the sake of this example. So once I've located the before state that I want to use in my before and after, I simply right click on it and select create virtual copy. And you can see that the virtual copy will appear in the film strip. You'll know it's a virtual copy because the bottom left hand corner is turned up like that. I'll go back to my original now and take my history all the way to the most recent state. This is the after. And now I'm going to go to the print module and select my duos for web. I want uh, two vertical photos before and after. So here is my template. I'm going to take my before, drag it and release it into the before field and then I'll do the same with the after. So there we have it. There's a before and after. Now if I want to customize, I can do several things. By clicking on the words before and after, I display this sizing box, and I can click and drag on the corners to make the text bigger or smaller. I can also click and drag on the box itself to relocate it. Finally, if I want to change the color of the text, I can go down here to the page panel and where it says identity plate and override color. I want to change the color of this bar to either black or if I wanted to choose a different color like red, I would simply take this red field and type any number in it and then I've got a color wheel to choose the color from. I actually like the black just fine on this image so I'm going to stick with that. That's how you make a before and after using our Lightroom templates. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you have any other questions, make sure and read the PDF instructions that came in your download. They've got lots of detail on getting the most out of your presets. Also, we have other videos about installing and using the presets. We have a video about rotating the orientation of a preset. We have videos about customizing identity plates and watermarks and changing the size of a template. We also have a video about using color blocks and digital paper to customize the templates. And finally, we have a video about troubleshooting. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.